Many people think of the Sahara Desert as a barren and empty land, but that's not entirely true. Covering over 8.5 million square kilometers, which is about one-third of Africa, the Sahara Desert is full of surprises and hidden treasures that challenge our expectations. Contrary to popular belief, the Sahara is not just endless sand dunes. Only about 20% of its landscape is covered in those iconic sand formations you often see in pictures. The rest is a captivating mix of rocky plateaus and rugged cliffs, creating a diverse and fascinating environment. But what makes the Sahara even more remarkable is the life that exists there. Despite the harsh conditions, around 4,000 different species have adapted to survive in this extreme desert. Among them are incredible creatures like hamsters, gerboas, antelopes, jackals, and dune cats. These animals are experts at navigating the desert and have developed special skills to cope with the intense heat. So how did the Sahara become a desert in the first place? It wasn't always like this. Long ago, it was a thriving paradise teeming with life, but something changed, and the lush landscape transformed into a sandy desert. To understand this transformation, we need to dig deep into the secrets hidden beneath the Sahara's sands. By exploring beneath the surface, we uncover the true wonders of this desert. It's like unraveling a captivating story that takes us back in time. We find clues and evidence that help us piece together the puzzle of the Sahara's past. It's a journey of discovery that reveals the fascinating history of this enigmatic desert. The Hidden Oasis Driven by curiosity and armed with advanced technology, scientists have embarked on an exciting journey to uncover the secrets of the Sahara's past. Through careful study of rocks and thorough research, they have started to piece together fragments of a forgotten time. In this captivating quest, a remarkable discovery emerged, a colossal ancient lake that existed around 250,000 years ago. This Paleo Lake, born from the mighty Nile River bursting through a narrow channel near the Wadi Tashka Bay, transformed the Eastern Sahara into a lush oasis teeming with water and life. Covering an astonishing area larger than Lake Erie or Lake Michigan, this magnificent lake supported a thriving ecosystem against all odds. But how did modern explorers stumble upon this hidden treasure? In a tale as thrilling as an adventure novel, geologists looked to the sky for answers. Using data captured by space shuttles, they carefully examined images of the desert surface. The extreme dryness and consistent geological features of the desert turned out to be helpful allies, allowing radar technology to penetrate the sandy layers and unveil the intricate shape of the ancient mega lake. And there, beneath the surface of the desert, lies the evidence that paints a vivid picture of the lost paradise. Fossilized fish remains, delicately preserved in sediment, serve as markers for the lake's highest shoreline. These ancient relics stand as a testament to the vibrant and abundant life that once flourished in what is now a dry and barren expanse. Lost Oasis, Tracing Sahara's Ancient Waters It was through the meticulous combination of scientific data that researchers pieced together a remarkable story of the Sahara's past. By integrating information from various sources, they confirmed that the Nile River had once flooded the vast Kisiba Tusca Depression in Egypt giving birth to a colossal lake. Evidence of Paleolithic human settlements near the Salima and Tarfawi areas further corroborated the existence of this presumed lake. Stretching across many thousands of years, this lake fostered the proliferation and diversification of a wide array of flora and fauna. However, its fate was sealed by the inherent challenges it faced. The receding water and rapid evaporation outpaced replenishment eventually leading to the lake's demise. As the waters dried up, the lake bed was swallowed by the shifting sands, yet life persisted in the region. Scientific studies have shed light on a time when the Sahara, often associated with its arid and lifeless facade, was in fact cloaked in lush vegetation and vibrant biodiversity. In 2015, a groundbreaking discovery shook scientific circles when the results of new research were unveiled in the Nature Communications Journal. Utilizing the Advanced Pulsar Phased Array Type L-Band Synthetic Aperture Radar on board the Japanese satellite ALOS, Advanced Land Observing Satellite, 
scientists unearthed the remnants of a massive riverbed and an intricate network of tributaries. This colossal Paleo River, known as the Toman Rosset River, is believed to have flowed through West Africa as recently as 5,000 years ago. Its origins are thought to lie in the southern reaches of the Atlas Mountains and the Ahagar Mountains in modern-day Algeria. The river earned its name from the oasis town of Toman Rosset, nestled within the Algerian region that once hosted this mighty waterway. Stretching over 500 kilometers, the Toman Rosset River and its labyrinthine tributaries meandered their way toward the Atlantic Ocean in what is now Mauritania. This ancient river basin was believed to have thrived with a wealth of flora and fauna. Over 2,000 years ago, the river gradually dried up, leaving behind a starkly transformed landscape. Had it survived to the present day, the Tom and Rosset River would have ranked as the 12th longest river on Earth. There is speculation among scientists that this river may have been ephemeral in nature, appearing and vanishing over the past 245,000 years. Regardless, it served as a vital water source, transforming the heart of Africa into a verdant paradise. Even today, remnants of its once majestic flow can be found in famous oases scattered throughout the Sahara, sustained by hidden currents and underground reservoirs leaking beneath the sands. Ancient Giants and Submerged Whales But the wonders of the Sahara don't stop at ancient sea dwellers. Amidst the sands, Fossilized bones of one of the largest dinosaurs to roam the Earth have been discovered, captivating the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. These remains belong to the herbivorous sauropod, a colossal creature measuring up to 32 meters in length and weighing an astounding 60 tons. Even this discovery pales in comparison to the unearthing of an entirely new species of ancient monsters, forever altering our understanding of prehistoric life. Millions of years ago, during the Mesozoic era, the Tethys Protokin's waters submerged what now constitutes the Sahara. It was in this submerged world that the ancestors of modern-day whales, known as Basilosaurus, thrived in great numbers. Imposing fossilized remains of these majestic creatures have been unearthed during excavations in Egypt's Wadi al-Hitan. These ancient oceanic relics lay undisturbed on the ocean floor for countless millennia until the ocean receded eventually transforming into the early versions of the Mediterranean and Black Seas. As the submerged landmass emerged, the ocean floor gave way to the vast desert we now know as the Sahara. The abundance of identified fossils has earned the Sahara the moniker Valley of the Whale. In the year 2016, a team of Egyptian and American paleontologists, led by the esteemed Dr. Hashem Solom of Mansur University, embarked on an excavation in Egypt that would forever change our understanding of the past. Their remarkable find unveiled the fossilized remains of a creature known as Mansurosaurus, a new species and genus classified in 2018. This groundbreaking discovery ignited a scientific sensation, captivating the world of paleontology and standing as a true holy grail of ancient life. Sahara's Human History and Megaliths The diverse wildlife history of the Sahara is interesting but it's the resilient human civilizations that truly capture our imagination. People have lived in the Sahara for a very long time. These strong communities thrived in the ever-changing climate and built settlements that changed over time. Archaeologists have found human remains and learned about different communities, each with their own unique story. Some settlements were well organized and more advanced than basic farming societies. The lowlands of Fayum and the Nabta region as well as the Be'er Kasiba oasis, became habitable when there was more rainfall. People moved down the Nile River and spread across the eastern Sahara from around 10,000 years ago. Around 7,000 years ago, large settlements with advanced social structures appeared, and they left behind amazing artifacts for us to discover. Pottery from as early as 6,000 years ago had beautiful designs, similar to the ceramics found in the Nile Valley near Cairo. Amongst the vast archaeological landscape, a striking discovery emerged at Nabta Playa, ancient megalith compositions that stood as a testament to the ingenuity of early civilizations. These awe-inspiring structures, reminiscent of the legendary Stonehenge, are believed to be archaeo-astronomical monuments, potentially serving as some of the earliest calendars in human history. Unraveling the mysteries of these megalithic wonders 
has led scientists, including astrophysicist Thomas J. Brophy, to propose that they hold profound religious significance. These ancient relics, adorned with sacred symbols, harken back to the 5th millennium BC, conveying the practical aspects of nomadic life. Cattle, water, death, earth, sun, and stars. The Mystery of Libyan Desert Glass In the vast and rocky areas of the Sahara Desert, there is a very rare mineral called Libyan Desert Glass. It is mostly made of silicon oxide, SiO2, about 98% in total. This glassy rock has a yellow-green color with many different shades, which makes it quite captivating to look at. Libyan glass has been known since ancient times and has been a part of human civilization. It had a special meaning in ancient Egypt and was used to make the scarab beetle a symbol of fertility and rebirth. The scarab beetle decorated the medallion of Tutankhamun, an important pharaoh of ancient Egypt. In 1916, a British archaeologist named Howard Carter discovered this magnificent medallion when he opened Tutankhamun's tomb. This discovery sparked a lot of interest in the mineral among scientists. Despite being known for a long time, the origins of Libyan glass are still mysterious and uncertain. Scientists have been trying to understand where this ancient mineral came from by studying rocks and exploring the Earth's geology. They have determined that the Libyan desert glass formed around 29 million years ago, but they have not yet reached a consensus on how it was created. One theory suggests that the glass was formed when a meteorite hit the Earth with great force. Inside the glass, there are minerals that require extremely high temperatures, like bedellite and moissanite. These minerals need temperatures higher than 1600 degrees Celsius to form, which is hotter than any igneous rock found on Earth. Another idea, known as the Comet Hypothesis, proposes that Libyan desert glass is a changed material from the cores of comets. However, there is not enough evidence to confirm this theory, and it is not widely accepted in the scientific community. The meteorite hypothesis also faces challenges because there are very few meteorite craters near the places where Libyan glass is found. However, in 2007, a significant discovery was made. The Kabira crater, which is 31 kilometers wide, was found just 100 kilometers away from the areas where Libyan glass is located. This meteorite impact crater offers hope and suggests a possible connection to the origins of Libyan desert glass. Could the Kabira crater provide the answers we have been seeking for so long? Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share the video.